Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Zion Capital FX. My name is Chance, and this is the channel where we take anyone that doesn't know anything about Forex indices, the markets in general, and we put them on a path towards consistent profitability and financial freedom. Today's vlog episode, we're going to be talking about a super simple concept, but it's one that you need to know through and through, have a 100% firm understanding of it, and that is how is a candle formed and what are the different parts of it or the anatomy of a candle. So without, you know, messing around, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so you probably have noticed that when you open up a trading view chart, the very first thing that you saw were these red and green candles. The the green candles were the bullish candles, those were the candles going in an upwards direction, and then the red candles were the bearish candles and they were going in a downwards direction. If you hear anybody say, "Hey, I'm bullish on EU." It just means that they view EU, the market itself, as going in an upwards direction. If you hear a guy saying, hey, I'm bearish on GJ, they think that GJ is going to go uh, down. They think price is going to drive itself down. If uh, you hear someone say that they're bearish or they're going uh, short or they're taking a sell, those all three things mean the same thing. If you hear another person say, hey, I'm bullish on EU, I'm going long, I just bought um, you know, I just went in a buy. Those are all three the same things. So just a little bit of synonymous uh, trading jargon for you to know and, and understand. So on the left here, the green candle is a bullish candle. And then on the right is a red bearish candle. There's two uh, different parts of anatomy that make up a candle. It is the body, which you see right here. And it is the wicks which you see right here, these long lines. Now this can be deceiving because candles don't always have wicks and sometimes candles don't always have bodies. Uh, these are different variations of candles and there are different schools of thought out there because these are Japanese candlesticks and people, when they see different candles, they interpret that as the market's going to do something next. So it's just... Uh, just understand it's a bundle of patterns that people take into account and have looked into, have studied, and they've come up with, you know, if this candle looks like this and the market's going to do this, I don't necessarily trade like that. But just understand that there is a school of thought of uh, traders solely who just look at how uh, Japanese candlesticks are formed and that's how they trade off of. Um, there's countless YouTube videos that you can Google and find different Japanese candlestick patterns. We're not going to do that here. I want you to understand how candles are formed though. So the body here of this bullish candle, just know that on a bullish candle, price opened up here. And let's say that this is a 15 minute candle. So every time frame that you're on, and let's just say that you're on the 15 minute time frame, uh, every candle that you see on a 15 minute time frame chart is 15 minutes worth of price action. If you were on a one hour chart, then every candle is worth one hour's worth of price action. If you're on a four hour chart, every candle is four hours worth of price action. So on and so on, you get the idea. Uh, on a bullish candle, the open is always gonna be at the bottom of the body. And the close is always gonna be the top of the body. Likewise, on a bearish candle, the open is gonna be the top of the body. And the close is going to be the bottom of the body. Anything that happened between the open and the close is going to be uh, visualized and represented by a body. Okay. Anything outside the open and close, that is just a, a, a visual of where price had been within that time frame. So if this is a 15 minute candle, price had ventured itself to make this high, but ultimately it resided here at the close when the 15 minutes was up. You know, at some point in that 15 minutes, price had went down here to form this low. But again, by the time it closed, price had made its way up here. Likewise, on this bearish candle, price had opened here. At some point, it ventured to go up to make this high. And then it came back to its opening price and then pushed down to make this low. And then finally, it resided here at the end of the 15 minutes and it closed right here. You'll see on a chart and, and when you're trading in a live market condition, a single candle can change from bearish to bullish multiple times. And that's perfectly normal. Um, you'll, you'll see that play out. This is why it's important to understand 
how how a candle is formed because when we we start getting into more advanced topics like fractal market structure there's going to be times where you're really not sure if the current price action is saying okay we've got a change of character here blah 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 that's all advanced stuff but how you would find that out is by looking at the candles on a lower time frame and figuring out how they formed did this high form first or was this low did the low form first? That can play a significant part when you're mapping out market structure, which we'll do at a later time. That's uh, for a video later on down the road. But so I, I want you to start, you know, looking, tracking visually how these candles are formed. You know that it's opened here, but did it come down here and form this low first or did it push up and make this high, then come back down and make this low and then close here? That's stuff that I want you to start looking at and start practicing when you're looking at these charts. Uh, let's see here. Let's let's go to uh, a live chart right now. Let's go to a chart like GU, and let's go to the 15 minute. All right. Let's see how this is looking. So this is current market condition right here. We've got a bearish candle that started. So um, looking into the previous candle, this this nice bullish candle, when it closed at the end of the 15 minutes, price had opened here where this bearish candle is. It looks like it went up just a little bit to form that high where um, my cursor is at. It's driving itself lower to make that low. And then now it's retracting itself again. So you kind of see how that plays, that that flow of the candle forming, right? Um, let's look at let's look at uh, this guy right here. This this bullish candle, it opened right. The bottom of the body is going to be the opening price of this bullish candle. It pushed all the way up here, and eventually, the close price finally decided to reside right here. The next candle is a good good example of when I told you that sometimes these candles have zero body whatsoever. We just get these long wicks. This is a sign of indecision, okay? And then the next one, we have another candle. It's another sign of indecision. You know, there's candlestick traders that say, oh, that's a, that's a pin bar. You know, price is going to go this way or it's going to go this way. And there's all kinds of different patterns. Uh, another pattern would be, oh, this is a tweezer top. Uh, it's going to be a bearish bearish uh, pattern. So you see this reversal. Oh, we've got this bullish engulfing. So we think the market's going to go up, right? Because this bullish engulfing candle engulfed, you know, the last two bullish or bearish candles. Like that, that is a legit way to trade. That is not a way that I trade. But again, they're looking at how the candles formed and, and eventually where they... Um, ended where they open and closed right that's that's the most important part of it uh again like you need to you need to have a firm understanding of, of this see that that bearish candle turn into a bullish candle i don't know if you caught that but this was a bearish candle just a few seconds ago and now it's pushing up so you see see how that plays out let's go to a five minute chart okay we had this bullish candle go up and then let me get my pointer out again. We had this bullish candle. It came down, formed this low, this wick, and it pushed past its opening price to form this high and then closed here. And then this bearish candle looks like it might've tried pushing up and then eventually just closed down here. And then this bullish candle went down a little bit, but then it just kept pushing up. And then this next five minute candle which is currently forming, it looks like it's just been pushing up and driving forward. So you see in real time how this plays out, right? Very important, very super simple, but this is how we start building. This is like the building block to trading. So we need to build off of this one concept and take it the next step further. So the next uh, video videos I'm about to pump out, that's going to be all about market structure. And that's going to be the the real meat and potatoes to trading. So stay tuned. 
Um, you know, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. Uh, if there's anything that wasn't clear or, um, you know, I just kind of rambled on and kind of muddled through it, don't hesitate to ask. Go in the comments. You know, I, I'll be honest with you. Like this YouTube channel isn't about me trying to be get all big and famous. Like I, I could care less. There, there's a group of people, um, friends, buddies, coworkers uh, that I'm trying to help out. And this is all for you guys. Like I, I want to help you guys succeed because why not? Right. We're all here to succeed. I want to see everyone grow. So if there's anything that I can help clarify you guys, put it down in the comments. Don't be afraid to throw yourself out there and I will do my best to, to help clarify it up. Okay. So again, thanks everybody. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. And uh, until next time, uh, I'll see you on the flip side.